Hey everyone, I'm on a run right now and for about $35, I now have a way to remotely monitor any of my 3D printers. And if I'm seeing a print job fail, I have a way to get in there and turn off the print. And yeah, I know there's probably a lot of you out there thinking you can already do this today with a Raspberry Pi and Octoprint. Well, guess what? I don't wanna spend a ton of money for a whole bunch of different 3D printers to be able to set up Raspberry Pis, to be able to run Octoprint and have an overly complex setup for my very basic needs of just being able to monitor my 3D prints and kill the printer if I'm seeing my print fail. And the best part is it's gonna cost me around 30 to $35 for this entire setup. And it's super simple and straightforward. And what I'm using is just a simple Wise camera. This is the brand new Wise OG camera that's $20. It's a camera that you're gonna be able to plug in and connect to your network and it's gonna allow you to use it as a security camera or monitor your 3D printers or even create time lapses of your 3D prints with this little camera device directly connected to your network that you can set up and plug in wherever you'd like. You don't even have to have it pointed directly at one 3D printer. You could have it on a shelf looking at a whole bunch of different machines if you really wanted to. And what's really cool about this little camera is that there's already a ton of 3D printable mounting options that you can find over online. This is just an example of one that I found over on Printables by Otaku MX, which I think is how you say the user's name, but it was a really simple and easy print that allowed me to print up a little arm handle that directly mounts to the side of my Neptune 3 Pro, which also directly works with the Neptune 3 Plus or the Neptune 3 Max. However, the one downside that I'm seeing for this little 3D printable arm for the Plus and the Max currently is that it's just, it's gonna be too close and too small for those larger 3D printers. So I'm probably gonna end up having the cameras mounted somewhere else so that I can get a better view of the 3D printers while I'm up and printing. Now I've also purchased a handful of the other Ys or Ways, I'm not quite sure what the uh, pronunciation is of the brand, uh, but I purchased a whole bunch of their version three cameras as well. I previously found some deals on these where it was a bundle of two for $35 from Home Depot. So keep an eye out for deals for these online because I think there's some newer versions versions of these cameras popping up, but they essentially function more or less the exact same. So you're gonna have 1080p video quality. It's gonna allow you to do time lapses or just uh, have alerts and monitoring and notifications directly to your phone. It works with iPhones and Androids. It also has two different types of stands that these are gonna work with. The version three, what I've noticed is it's a, a little bit more of an adjustable stand, allowing you to swivel and adjust this a little bit better and more uh, fluidly here than the OG stand. It also has a magnet built into it, which is pretty nice if you wanted to just directly sit this on top of your 3D printer and then point it directly down at the bed without even needing any sort of 3D printable attachments or anything like that. You could literally just leave it magnetically attached directly on the top of the printer. And unfortunately the OG doesn't have the magnets built into it, so you're not gonna be able to take advantage of that. But the OG, this newer version that's a $20 camera, has a light built into it as well, which is kind of cool. The version three doesn't have a light that's built into it, but both of these have night vision options as well. So if you're printing in the dark and needed to be able to see what you're 3D printing, that's certainly an option as well. Now what I'm using to actually control the 3D printer to be able to shut it off remotely, whether you're at work or you're at home or you're just away and you've left your 3D printer up and running and you're choosing to monitor it and if you want to kill the 3D print, I have purchased one of these smart plugs off of Amazon and I think it was $15 for one or a four pack was 30 or $35. So I ended up going with the four pack option just to give me a little bit more options. And obviously you don't have to use this just for your 3D printer. If you wanted to hook this up to a set of lights or other electrical items, you'd definitely be able to do that and enable or disable this outlet remotely directly from your phone, which is super crazy to me. I mean, just this technology is absolutely amazing. The whole idea, initially spawned for this project because I was 3D printing on my Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus and or was it the Mac? I think it was the Max. And I ended up having a print failure and I was all the way back home and I had the smart camera set up so I could monitor the print from home and it started to fail, but there was no way for me to actually shut off the printer and it was like two in the morning. So I just had to let it run and went to it as first, first thing in the morning at like four or five in the morning when I got up, went directly here and turned off the printer, which was just, it ended up wasting a ton of filament. But if I had this smart plug enabled and had one of these in place, I would have just been able to go on my phone and kill the printer directly from my phone. Now I should also mention that the time-lapse feature is, it works, but it doesn't produce the most 
beautiful looking time lapses that you've ever seen. If you have any tips or suggestions on how to get better time lapses from these cameras, let me know in the comments down below because I am all ears and would love to hear what further options are potentially available with the time lapse capture functionality that's built into these cameras. And what I'm gonna be doing now is actually setting up a long overnight print here with my Elgoo Neptune 3 Plus and my Elgoo Neptune 3 Pro using this smart camera setup. I also wanna say a big, huge thank you to Elgoo for sponsoring today's video if you're interested in the Elgoo Neptune 3 Pro or the Elgoo Neptune 3 Plus or the ever elusive Elgoo Elgoo Neptune 3 Max. You can find more information about that down below. Elgoo continues to make some budget friendly and amazing 3D printers that you can hopefully get your hands on soon. Again, if you're interested in more information about these 3D printers, you can find links to those down below. So I'm already loving this setup. So I ended up having initial print failure using Cura and their new tree supports and their slicer alpha and ended up needing to come back and re-slice the print to get it up and running. But I was able to see that the print was failing directly from my phone. And then I set up these prints, went to bed last night, checked on them before I went to sleep, saw that they were printing just fine. And then this morning I saw that the skull print here on the Neptune 3 Pro had finished printing and looked great. But I noticed that on the Neptune 3 Plus, my print had stopped mid print and I wasn't entirely sure what was wrong? I thought maybe the filament ran out, but on the video, I could actually see that there was filament feeding into the extruder. And when I came into the studio to check on the print, I noticed that it had paused itself because it had detected that the filament wasn't feeding through the little runout sensor there. It actually had gotten tangled up in the spool, so it paused the print. I then untangled the spool, fed it back through, and now able to resume this print. So hopefully this will be done here in the next few hours. And while that file's printing, I figured why not show you this little skull change holder printable file that I found over on Printables by Totally Addicted. Now, I ended up having a bunch of issues with this particular file and thankfully was able to get this slice properly and printed, but it looks really good at 0.2 millimeter layer height here. And yeah, my sunglasses fit perfectly on there. I'm planning on using this for not only a little change holder, but be, to be able to more reliably hold and store some safety glasses here for the studio whenever I need those. I also want to say a big thank you to all my Patreon supporters for your continued support of me making content here on the interwebs. If you're interested in more information about my 3D printer settings that I use for my different machines, you can find that over in my Patreon. So good news, bad news. The good news is our print finished. The bad news is these supports from the new Cura Alpha Slicer, these tree supports are near impossible to remove. <laughs> so having a difficult time getting those off. Also, I have a big seam where we ended up having to reprint or restart our print there. And that's because I believe when the filament ended up getting tangled, it wasn't fully extruding. So it just left this little bit of a gap there in between our prints. So unfortunately, our little gentleman frog here did not fully print. A uh, good half of this is I did not like how this dual color print turned out, just how the color change happened. So I think I'm gonna end up reprinting this and just printing it in solid green. But the other good thing is that the camera setup here worked as expected. I did end up running into one issue where the OG camera for this skull print, it didn't record the time lapse. I swear I selected that it should record a time lapse, but it just didn't record anything. So maybe I misdid something, but uh, it definitely recorded it the first time when I tried to print that little Nike shoe. But for $35, I think this is again, a really affordable way for you to be able to monitor your 3D prints wherever you are. And again, have that very basic control to stop your 3D prints if you're seeing a print fail. If you're interested in more information about any of the things that I used in this video, I'll have links to all of those down below. But let me know what your thoughts are on this. If you have other alternatives that you think might work better than this or are even more affordable, let me know, I'm all ears. Hey, thanks so much for watching you all and I'll see you next time. Hey everyone, I'm gonna run right now. Hey everyone, I'm gonna run right now. Well, it's way too hard. Way too hard to run and talk at the same time. <laughs>